How's it going? Nice to see you again for another beach talk. Feng Shui. Let me explain. I've become mildly obsessed about where I work. I need to feel good, feel great, in order to produce great work. Equally, the people I'm working with, they're in another place, but they are also sitting in a place that they feel great for them to do great work. Now this comes from 14 years of Feng Shui from my wife's uncle, who's a Feng Shui consultant. So he helps turn around businesses by reorganizing or reshaping where people are sitting or how customers are greeted. It's a fascinating subject, but I buy into this because I've lived and breathed it for 14 years. And one of the funny things in our house here on the Isle of Wight was when we moved in, Andrew has a very gentle um, interest, a keen interest, knowing that if you live in a space and work in a space, you've got to put remedies in place in order to produce great work, great outputs, all that stuff. So for example, in my, my office, my desk is in the middle of the room and the wall I face is bright yellow, which is a very bright and positive energetic color, very subliminal backdrop to be, to be working and facing. Now, when we did our house, when we moved in, Andrew f did a report and he flagged that the front corner of the house, there was a piece of dead area and to remedy, remedy it, we should put in some sort of water feature, which we did. We have a little fountain at the front of our house, it comes on when people walk, walk in, and loads of people comment on it. Now, they may not necessarily feel energetic, but it's a great flow into the house. And it brings with it energy and all that good stuff. Now, one funny time, Andrew was over on the island around two and a half years ago, and he was asking how things going, How's the house? How's work? And work for me at the time was crazy busy. Not complaining, but I was just attracting so much work. Businesses, business owners, businesses were growing, stuff was going, good stuff was happening. And I was just explaining to Andrew that I was just feeling slightly burnt out at the time and I was working maybe too long, too many hours. Again, not complaining. And I could see he was just sitting there in the armchair thinking, well, I guess, you know, what can we do to solve this one? And after 30 seconds of not really saying anything and just listening to me, he just gently leaned forward and said, I guess you could just turn off the fountain. Till next time.